So if you've got a Mac, one of the things you might be making good use of is the dock down the bottom. And just the other day someone mentioned to me about putting a folder into the dock and they were trying to drag it into this section and it wouldn't work. But actually you can do it and you've got to drop it into the correct section of the dock. If you look over to the right hand side here you can actually see that there's a little line here which is a split which means that to the left here these are all your apps and to the right is where you can put files and folders. And you can see I've got some folders here, kind of a standard one that you might already have is downloads. I've already put things like documents here and I've got one for jargon free assets which is what I use when I'm editing. So basically what happens is these are files you can get to really quickly and they're a shortcut to a folder that might exist on your desktop in documents or somewhere else. And you can see that when I click on it, it comes out like this fan here which you can change and at the top you can click here and you can add it open it in your finder. I'm just going to close that. But you can change this because you can change how that pops up. But firstly you probably want to know how to put the folder there. And I've got the finder open here. So I could take something, say like I've got Dropbox, which I've got another tutorial on, which is an online storage. And you can simply click and drag down into here. And when you do, it simply pops it in there. Now, just so that you can see that, again, if I was just taking a folder as opposed to one of the favourites on the side, I'm just going to choose one from my desktop. So I'm going to choose this one here called Folder, and simply click and drag it, and I'm actually I'm going to put it to the right, I could have put it to the left. But the important thing is it goes in this right section here. And you can see that when I now click on it, it pops up like this. So the thing that you probably want to do is look at what options you've got to change it. So so what I want to do now is either right click or control and click and I get my options. So I can change how I want them sorted, such as by name, date added, date modified, date created, or kind. So it'll group and say by JPEG or a movie or a document and so on. So the other thing that you can do is I'm just going to skip down here to view content. So it's doing it automatic, but it's doing it as this fan one here, which you could choose but I'm going to just show you what happens if I choose grid, because if I now click on it, you see it comes up like this and it fills up more space the more files you've got. So I'm just going to right click on there again. You've got list and you click on it and some people with lots of files might prefer this and it just keeps filling up the screen with more and more files the more you've got in there. Or I could go back to the fan or automatic if I just click on that and do that. So. For this I'm just going to put it back to grid. The other thing is over here you can see what well, is apparently the first file that it's choosing there that might be at the top of the list. So if I click there and you can see it's actually that one. So what if I wanted to just look like another folder like this one over here? Well what you can do is just right click and choose folder and it looks like that which some people might like. Others might like having it the other way so I'm just going to right click again and choose stack. So you can see like the first one and actually you can kind of see some depth to it like there's other files behind it. So there you go, that's how you can easily do that. I can easily open that just by clicking on it and it will open up that file in preview. So there you go, it was that one there. This one happened to be open already. What you can do now is you might not want those there. So to get rid of them is really quite simple. It doesn't delete any files because these are really just shortcuts to another location. To get rid of it, I just click and drag and you'll see it's got that little, what looks like puff of smoke, let go and it's gone. So let me do that again. I just click and drag and it's gone. No damage has been done because that one that I just moved was that folder there, folder 01, and I also got rid of the Dropbox. So they still exist. So that's being able to put a folder and change some options there when you're using it on a Mac. Oh, just one other thing. If I right click, you can choose to open it just by right clicking. And in options, you can also choose to remove from dock. Or if I choose show in finder, it's going to open the finder window here as well. So there you are. That's putting a folder onto your dock here. I've got another tutorial showing you how to add an application.